Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Connie Kenneth and so if you're new here make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, okay, and you comment. Let's meet in the discussion box here below and so I'll be so happy to, you know, to hear what you think about this reaction video. So today we're going to uh, react to I Am Marwa's video. So I crushed a street wedding in Lamu, Kenya. So I am really, really looking forward to reacting to this one because I know the people in the coastal region have wonderful traditions. Lamu is a beautiful town uh, with, you know, with hidden streets and stuff like that. So this will be a very interesting one to watch. And I would love to discover Lamu through Ayamawa's eyes. Okay, or camera. So let's go. What's up, guys? What's up? So it's my first day here in an island. It's called Lamu. I want to go out. And just show you how this place looks like. Yeah. It's my first first day. Wow. I'm so new, like a baby. I love the. You know, I think it's all the coastal region. You have all these white, sparkling white buildings with some beautiful architecture. You can already tell from the door um, that this is a unique piece, and you'll find this kind of doors all over the coastal region, and especially not far from the monuments and. They're so beautiful. So I already love your hotel. I don't know what which hotel this is in Lamu, but it looks so nice. So like a babe. But I love the architecture of these areas. Yeah, look at that. Look at the, the you know the the motives on is it um is it just uh what do you call it? Um how do you say that? A board? I don't know how to say it, it's just Decoration it looks really nice. You know? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Wow. So, I'm gonna go out. Salama san. <laughs> it doesn't catch up from Guangu Aba. Oh, I didn't know you I mean I mean I am Marwa or anybody who's been to the coastal region. Do you have to leave your key? Because I remember the last time I was in Malindi. And I would take my key everywhere. I think, I don't know. Uh, do you have to leave your key each time? Let me know. I can't. So I just left my keys right there. I want to go out and uh, walk around. Okay. okay. Wow. Wow. So. so your hotel is facing the ocean. How good is that? How Look at that. It's so beautiful. Love it. Love it. This is purely an island. Um, the time now is 17, 18. People are preparing some street foods and me are walking around. Wow. It's evening time and the name of this island is called Lamu. Lamu Island. So. Very did you see that? Uh, let me let me rewind a little bit. I don't, did you see the street? How narrow? So look at that. And you have so many. That's the architecture, especially also in old Mombasa and Lamu as well. You will find this kind of streets that are very narrow. Um, and it's it's a labyrinth. How do you say it? it's a labyrinth? You know that you can. What do you, how do you say that in French, in in English? Uh, how do you? Let me know in the comment section below. I forgot. I have the word in French, but I don't have it in English. You know, when you have, it's a maze. Yeah, that's a word. It's a maze and you can get lost in there. But um, people are always so friendly to show you the way out of the maze. It is very breezy and it has um, the vibe of Zanzibar, purely like Zanzibar or any other place that is very old in the East African coast. What's happening? <laughs> okay, and just, I know his, uh, so I Marwa is out in the evening, but you know, like most coastal areas or even, um, you know, like the, the, the what do you say, the, the, the resort, sea resort areas, most people come out in the evening from 5 p.m. to from 6 p.m. because it's not too hot and that's when they start to leave. So either very early in the morning when it's a little bit breezy or late in the evening, that's when life starts. Otherwise, during the day, it's very slow 
it's very slow and you can fill it if you really want to let go of the hectic city life then you should go to Lamu, to Malindi, to Diani, uh, to Mombasa. It, it's a very, very, it's a slow life and, you know, and um, yeah, it's crazy. You just get out of there so relaxed, especially also with the sea, with the salty water, you know, it just, you feel much better. For me, I feel like if I was to live anywhere in Nairobi, in, in Kenya, apart from Nairobi, it would be more in the coastal region because I, I love it. I feel so... I'm happy there, you know? <laughs> are they fighting or are they playing? So this area is a UNESCO heritage, the way you see it right there. You, know? you, see, you see how immaculate that is, the white? You will find white everywhere you go in the coastal region. <laughs> this way and see more things. Yeah, the intro is fantastic as well. I love it. I always find myself, every time I watch I Am Hours videos, I'm always dancing to that. Ooh. So let's get lost with you. What's up, what's up, guys? This is Maru again. I'm in the streets of a very historical town and mm -hmm. island is called Lamu. So I'm going to take you around and uh, show you what Lamu is, what you expect in Lamu. Wow. I'm using a very small camera, it's called Osmo. Look. Man, the streets. Yeah, right or left, exactly. So either right or left, there's, there's always a parallel street or pathway however you want to call it and it's really nice it's so nice very very small mm -hmm. so this is lamu it reminds me of zanzibar actually look at that it feels like zanzibar mm -hmm. and as i walk around i want to show you and you find businesses inside look this looks like a clothes store or something it's fantastic places how mm -hmm. to visit this small island wow yes it's very very small and i think what you really what i love most is the fact that it's clean people of the coastal region are very clean you know compared to uh let's say a place like uh kibera or madari when you go to the slums and when where you have this kind of um narrow roads most of the time the drainage system is very dirty you have um you have you have plastic bags everywhere and stuff like that and this one is different look at how how clean the draining system is and then you can see you see look at how clean it is um yeah and it's fantastic i love it but uh, uh very historic you know super historic so i decided to film with my small camera it's called osmo to just show you how this places wow. look like you know and uh, mm. and you get to see how diverse the coastal region is it's very diverse you know um it's it's unbelievable and people live together in harmony in love and you know name it so it's fantastic it's pretty amazing mm. to be in this island it's my first Last time here, Lamu. Mm. Yeah. But for me, it reminds me of uh, reminds me of Zanzibar, man. Purely Zanzibar. As I walk around, I just wanna show you how it feels like to live in an island, you know. <laughs> it's crazy because everywhere you turn there is somebody you know at the corner you can't really say let me just be you know let me just be alone you will always have somebody somewhere popping out of nowhere you know so i wouldn't want to to be there at night <laughs> you know because at night you can have a heart attack i think uh, so the road here is at the end, wow. I don't know, maybe I should keep going this way. Yeah. Probably this way. Uh, the roads here are very narrow. Mm. Uh, this 
And I'm honestly, look at how clean it is. Look at how clean it is. This is crazy. Love it. Yo, you see, I was telling you again, it's so diverse. You will find people from all walks of life. I wouldn't be surprised if you come across a Maasai or I don't know. Just look, look, you have somebody just just like back in the in the days, years and years, centuries ago, you know, with a donkey. <clears throat> and you will realize Mombasa is a place or even the coastal region is a place where people you don't use so many cars. You will not find so many cars. You can find a transport system like so um, the, the what do you call it, the donkeys or the tuk tuks or the bicycle and stuff like that. So it's a it's an ancient town, one of the oldest towns um, in Kenya and in Africa as a whole. And also you'll find a, a, a large diversity of different cultures um, and Kenyan cultures and different minorities in the coastal region, a different, um, di um, what do you call them, descents from the Arabics, uh, from the Portuguese. You have so many Italians in Mombasa. So it's a very diverse, First, diverse um, place uh, in, in, the, in the coastal side. So I love it. See that lifestyle? Oh, yo. Look, look what I said. I remember the first time I was in, I was in Mombasa that time, the northern part of Mombasa, and I was like, you find Maasai here? And I was very surprised. And look, I, I said so. I'm not surprised at all. Look at that. Okay, so he's selling some Maasai shoes. Islam. It's a lovely evening as I walk around. I show you what to expect. Uh. It looks like a raster man. <laughs> Look at that. Oh wow, yeah, he's, he's got some. I'm told it's very diverse. Oh, here comes the wedding, right? <laughs> oh, where are the men? Looks like women only. And they have some uh, vegetables, some fruits. What is it? Oh, it looks like women only. <laughs> the men they're playing the drums and stuff okay fair must be a reason as to why you can only see women at this point okay so i'm just curious to know why they're like just very few the drummers uh, the drummers the drumists are men, men and only women so it must be a, a traditional thing maybe women and men separate and they join at the mosque or something i don't know let's see <laughs> So there's a wedding here. I'm in a small island called Lam. And people are really happy and celebrating. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
and I'm sure he's, he or she is going to bite her sister. <laughs> Look, oh, like, leave me alone. <laughs> What's really nice about it is, um, I mean, they the, the crowd keeps growing and growing and growing and growing, and all the kids who are also having fun. I, I love it. It's just the togetherness when it comes to big occasions in the different uh, communities and different uh, traditions and stuff like that. So it just brings people together despite you know what you believe in or where you're from. So it's it's a it's a beautiful thing. I love I love. I'm sorry I'm not saying much here because I'm just enjoying. Um, you know the, the the music and stuff like that. It's it's fantastic. I love it. to have such to to be on the streets on this particular day and to get to experience a traditional Swahili wedding it's uh it's unique you know it's uh it's a unique uh, occasion <laughs> Can 
also somebody tell me what they're saying. I don't know if it's Swahili. I can't really hear exactly what they're saying. It's fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. A wedding in an island called Lamo. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. A pair A pair I think they're great. So this is, is this a mosque? What is it? Where is it? Lovely time. They are enjoying each and every second of it. Oh, so I'm in an island called Lamu. Uh, randomly, I found this uh, wedding happening in the streets, and I joined them. I think they are heading somewhere there for, I think, documentation. And you can see how the house looks like. Mm. It's, uh, it's uh, Lamu Fort. 1821. Wait, what did he say? 1821. 1821. Okay. Oh, wow, man. Yes, by the locals. Yeah. Okay. So, this is where, like, uh, what's happening here, man? You can tell us. Uh, uh, Lamu Fort, so the place is Lamu Fort, built in 1921 or 18. 1921 by the locals and not by the Portuguese or anybody. So, oh, so it's an important place. And why are they there? That's a good question. Uh, okay, this is a typical Swahili uh, wedding. wedding. Okay. Yes. But uh, uh, Swahili wedding is married. So this is um, yes, like, maybe, maybe we can go somewhere there. More like uh, yeah. a, a, a lamb wedding. Yes. So at this point, uh, yes. uh, from the Different family members, yes, are going to have a reception for the women only. Oh, women only. Yeah, yeah. So that's no, why there's no, 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 no man. No man is allowed. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that answers my question. Okay, so it's just an okay uh, a reception just for women only, and that's why we don't have so many men here. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Kubamba. 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 Oh, Upamba, Upamba, yes, yes, yeah. wow. So, yeah. how, how long will it happen? Like, for how long? Because of COVID, yes, it's going to take up around nine, but it's nice. Yes. There's something that it's, um, something that the uh, celebration has go on for seven days. Oh, for seven days? Yes. Oh, 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 wow. Uh, Is it like seven non-stop days or wow so every day they have like a different venue different reception uh, it's going to be uh, a short, uh, short dance oh wow man. it's going to be uh, going to the hall with the, with the, with the yes There's so much that wow so that means they'll be coming here for the next seven days every day uh, no, no. oh but just today Okay. Uh, the rest can be done. For example, the Dika. Yes. The is done. Okay, but today is the D day. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. We're gonna dance, Dara. We're gonna dance. Yes. And Fugo dance. Oh. Fugo dance is a dance. It's usually done uh, during the Swahili weddings. Uh, okay. okay. Something that has been done uh, for for centuries or as okay. uh, some heritage. Yes. Oh, wow. 
wow. Because they adopted a lot from as far as Malawi and uh, oh, wow. you can be able to see. Mm. Hey, uh, I was walking randomly in Lamu. Uh, yes, I was walking randomly here in Lamu, and actually I find I found this guy who supports me, and uh, now. Randomly, I found a wedding here, so I'll wedding. That's how it looks like. And I hope you guys enjoy. Yay. And for those people around the world, I think also this is very important for the young kids growing up. Mm. Trying to understand, like, having a wedding is very important. And, uh, yeah, so... Yeah. And especially understanding how a traditional wedding is supposed to be done. And I think it's a good example for the kids as they grow. It just sustains uh, the tradition and, you know the ways of doing things so that we don't get lost in this world that is really running very fast. So I really, really extremely enjoy. It was my first time to assist um, in a Swahili traditional wedding. And thanks to you, I'm Mawa. So fantastic. Thank you. I'll cut the shot here. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys. Oh my goodness. Let me see if we can. Yeah. So thank you so much uh, for this video. It was fantastic. And I think it was a great surprise for you and for us as your supporters i really enjoyed it so let me know uh if you you're from lamu where are you from in kenya let me know in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe and until next time bye